Let's actually go back down into Garment Maker first. When I go into Seam Subobject Mode, just like I can select seams to create seams between them, I can also select internal seam lines. I can select these two edges. And that can be quite handy. Now let's say I'm creating a pleat. So this piece of cloth and this one's going to fold over on it and this one's going to fold back the other way, kind of forming a Z shape. So in this case, let's say for this one, I want it to go 165 degrees. want its strength and sewing stiffness to be much larger than it was. And then in this case, I want it to be the exact opposite. So minus 165 degrees, 10 and 150. Because I want the strengths to be equal, I just want their directions of how they fold the cloth together to be different. So out of panel or curves of seam subobject mode, and I can go into cloth effects. And with the internal seams, I'll make this cloth and let's make it cotton. I'm going to back out here. Come into this mode, and you'll notice now when I hit, let's actually turn this off, and the grid, I actually had a very large piece of cloth, so I'm going to bring this down quite a bit, just so it speeds things up. And when I hit simulate local, you'll notice that I now get folds across my cloth, pretty much right away. I've got very high tension so I can now build creases. Um, if I were to try and do this with with this set of panels, so let's go back into seam subobject mode and let's do the exact same thing. 165, 10, and 150. And then this seam is going to be minus 165, 10, and 150. Now, when I apply cloth effects to it, I make the standard seams cotton as well. I say OK. Gravity is off. My centimeters per unit is the same. When I hit simulate local, you'll notice I'm not getting a fold yet. And a lot of people get confused by this. They're like, well, nothing's happening. Don't panic. Don't fret. It's not a problem. It's basically because you're still pulling the garment together with sewing springs. Got to remember that in order to create seams the traditional way with separate panels is you've got to pull your cloth together, turn off use sewing springs, hit simulate local. And now that piece of cloth will start to pull itself together. So you've got a couple of different ways that Cloth Effects and Garment Maker allow you to build build this. So you can see both of them are now pleated. Considering this was one panel, it's got some smoothing issues and you may need to put a smooth modifier on top of it to help clean that up a little bit. But both ways you can create pleats and internal seam lines. And, and what's more is that the seam lines don't necessarily have to go from one edge to the other. So in this case, let's delete that off. Let's delete cloth effects here for a second. And actually, I'm even going to delete editable, delete that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tempt the fates here and go into vertex subobject mode. That's not the right one. There we go. I'm going to create a, an internal seam that doesn't extend all the way through. At this point, if I were to throw Garment Maker on, again, you'll see that my internal seam line runs to a point and then stops. So, um, of course, if I select that seam line, you can see it ends right here, as opposed to this one, which runs all the way through. This one now, of course, it loses all of its data. So if I put that at, let's say, 135, maybe not quite make it quite so obvious. And rebuild cloth, cotton, OK. And making sure everything else is set. 
hit simulate local, you'll notice I get a um, a bubble, so to speak. Actually, let's reset the state because it seems that when I went here, I had lost this crease angle as well. So minus 135, 10, and 50. And I'm going to leave that so that they're slightly different. And now, when I hit simulate local, I can get a fold in the cloth that necessar doesn't necessarily fold all the way through. So when you start designing your clothing, you can actually put crease lines, seam lines, um, and have them act as uh, ways to fold and manipulate the cloth in ways you may not have thought before. Um, and you should be able to use that to your advantage. Just be aware that in order for all of that to work, you need to make sure that in segment subobject mode, anything you have as an internal seam line is set to material set ID of 2, because that tells cloth effects and garment maker specifically that the um, the panels are not uh, ending at this line. They're continuing. This is actually just where you want the Delaunay mesh to align itself to so that you've got this perfectly straight edge through Garment Maker. As shown right there, you've got that same seam line that you can select and adjust. So keep that in mind. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this knowledge and I'm going to apply it to a form to a dress and show you how you create uh, a party dress.